Hi, how you doing? Justin here. In this video, we're going to be testing guitar cables to find the answer to that eternal question, do expensive guitar leads sound better than cheap ones? Now, it's something I've wondered about for quite some time. I've got a whole range of different guitar cables here that I've bought over the last you know, few years. So we're going to test them all. Now, I'm going to be using my 335 guitar. It's going into a Sir Badger 30 amplifier, into a Z-Best. Uh, 212 cabinet, it's being mic'd with a, a Shaw 57 microphone, it's going into an API 512 preamp and then into Pro Tools at uh, 96 uh, 24 bits. So uh, it's a pretty good clear signal path, I'm just plugging straight in, I've taken out all of my effects loops, there's no pedals in between, so it is purely going to be the cables. And the interesting thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to tell you what cables what, you're going to have to go to the website on that. So uh, the, the different cables that we're going to test, I'm going to put up high resolution audio files on SoundCloud and then uh, you can listen to them on the website and see if you can figure out which is which because that's really the, tr the, the best way to test that stuff and I do it myself with different things now to test if I think this is better than that because a lot of us kind of listen with our eyes a bit, you know, and we'll think that, well, this, you know, $150 evidence audio cable must be better than the one that I got in my case when I bought my guitar, right? Let's hope so. So the cables we have on test, first of all, this is the type of really, really cheap molded cable that you get when you uh, uh, buy a guitar, it's usually in the case. Uh, I already just in the preliminary test found out that this is a really noisy, horrible cable. So uh, my first advice, even though we haven't done a test yet, is buy a better cable than the one that you get in the case. Um, I'll test it anyway, just because it should make the other one sound really good. So we got one of those. We have. Um, uh, cordial road line and this is the type of cable I've used for touring for quite some time uh, whenever I'm doing gigs out uh, they they just seem really well built it's a it's a big thick cable lots of protection the connectors are Neutrik brand which is a Neutrik is a really long lasting brand of uh, cable connector uh, so we're going to be uh, checking that out they're all roughly the same length except for that one that I got free in the guitar case job we actually uh, thank you Chandler's guitars in queue uh, they gave me that when I was in there the other day, knowing I was doing this test. So uh, we got that cordial road line. We've got uh, here, this is a Pete Cornish cable. Now this is a very high-end expensive cable. Uh, the expensive cable tends to be directional, which is interesting. This black end is the one that goes into the amplifier and the other end goes into your guitar. Uh, really, it's Neutrik connectors again. It's kind of a material braided uh, uh, sheath around the cable. Um, used this one for a long time. I, I do like this cable, but I'm not sure if I like it sonically better than any other one, so it's going to be interesting. I just like the feel of it. Uh, we've got here, uh, this is a, uh, what's the brand again? A Van Dam, I think it's called. A Van Dam uh, oxygen-free cable, uh, which I just made up myself a few years ago. I've got Neutrik connectors on there, so again, I'm just interested to see if that sounds any better than the others. I've got here uh, an evidence audio. Uh, I think this one's got a name even, this one. The Melody, they call it. So it'll be very interesting to see if the Melody sounds any more melodic than any of the other ones. We'll find out so shortly. And uh, last of all, I've got uh, three meters of uh, George L patch cable. Now this is normally what I use to patch in my effects, but I was and, and they do make a proper guitar lead, George L, but I don't have one to hand uh, to test it out with the other ones. But uh, uh, I was just curious, seeing as I had enough cable around, I've just stuck a couple of uh, patch cable ends on it, and uh, we're going to test it and see if this one sounds any better than the, than the others. So um, let's get cracking. <laughs>
actually going to know if an expensive lead sounds better or not. Take the test yourself over on the website, see if you can figure out which one is which. Maybe you're a bit of an electronics geek and you know some reasons why some might sound better than others. Is the cable thickness better? Do they put little resistors in there? What's going on? Why might some sound better than others? I don't know all of the answers, but I've just done the test and there were definitely some that sounded better than others. So I uh, hope you found that as interesting as I did and I'll see you for more geekness sometime soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.